All right, I'm sitting here with endodontist extraordinaire Josh Puckett, good friend of mine. And uh, so I was trying to think, how long ago did we start placing, or did you start placing some implants? Uh, the first time I placed implants, I've only done it twice. Um, the first one was three months ago. Three months ago, okay. Um, so we actually, this morning, we've done three different patients. We got started around nine on the first patient. Um, placed a single implant and a molar, and then we did another individual molar, which you can see x-ray right there, and pop that down. And then we did uh, three implants on a lower quadrant, lower right quadrant. So uh, compare this to endo, how, how hard do you think placing, like a routine implant, I know you can go crazy with grafting in weird cases, but on a day-to-day -day case of an endo versus an implant, which one do you think is harder? This is boots on a rooster. Like it's <laughs> yeah. so easy. Yeah. Um, they um, just, especially with a guy, like I would never do this unguided. Right. Ever. Um, and so with with the guides and it all planned out, it's easier than an inclusal amalgam. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree with that. Uh, did you have any big concerns going into learning implants, like that this was going to be incredibly difficult and all that kind of stuff? Um, I mean, I had a lot of encouragement from you that it was straightforward, and you've proven that, I mean, through your course and what you've done, like, it's extremely easy. Yeah. Um, I, that's what I think. A lot of people just scare themselves to death thinking this, there's so much that can go wrong. But if you, if you pick your cases right, like, a case with abundant bone in a healthy individual, and especially if you're using a guide just to, to help get that consistency. I mean, success rate on these is darn near 100% in those individuals. But uh, I would agree. Like, I think doing doing pedo fillings to me is so much harder than a straightforward implant. But uh, anything you would say to someone, you know, considering getting into implants, I mean, you're an uh, endodontist. You had no training in this prior, right? None. Yeah. None, yeah. The... Um... I mean, it's it's amazing how straightforward it is, as far as going from plan to having the guides. I, I don't know why anyone would do this unguided, and like with your course that I sat through, like you taught me how to make the plans, what to look for. Um, frankly, I feel like after your course, you could place almost all the implants, and now. Um, it's, it's so hard to um, get people in or the cost is so prohibitive. Like, you can do these dirt cheap. I mean, I would And that's, that's kind of why you started, right? It's like all our local specialists are backed up forever. And, yeah. I, you know, I kept telling Josh, I said, man, listen, if it's a straightforward case, you can do this. This is not difficult. And I don't think you'd believe me initially, but. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's super, like with it planned out, it's super easy. Yeah. If you can, if you can surgically extract a tooth, like this is a no brainer. Right. I mean, this is this is uh, kindergarten compared to surgically extracting the tooth. Right. Right. So. Well, awesome. So yeah, again, you know, we this morning we started about nine and finished up at about noon, and that's three different patients, five implants. And we spent again. most of our time talking. Yeah, most of that time was talking, waiting on people to get numb, drinking coffee. So anyway, this is this is an achievable thing for anyone who's interested in in starting implants. Like, pick your cases wisely get some education and then i'd say this is a pretty straightforward thing but anything else you take all right awesome appreciate it